Okay, I think we're winning. I think we're there. Morning, Facebook. We're live. How are you? Hope you are well. So, what we're going to talk about today? Now, this is a really um, interesting one because it transcends people that I work with very closely in our trading room, but it's also a question I get when I go to trade expos or I'm at an event. I often get asked this question. So. The subject for today is, how do you find the right strategy for you? And the reason why I'm going with that as a title is because normally that is not the question that somebody will ask me. So normally what happens when I'm in a position and somebody's like talking to me about strategies, usually they ask me two questions. The first thing that they ask me is, they'll say, what is different about your strategy? So what is it that is different about what you do compared to somebody else? But then they'll also, the most common question I get is what's the best strategy? And either it's what's the best strategy for me or what is the best strategy um, at the moment, which again is a wrong question. So we'll deal with that one first. What's the best strategy at the moment really implies straight away that that person is not thinking long term, regardless of the type of trader they are, they're thinking short term because they're thinking, well, what strategy can I trade now to make money? And this is a really interesting one at the moment because what we're seeing a lot at the moment is we're seeing tech stocks literally flying off the scale. They're shooting up. I think Tesla's done something ridiculous like 700% in the last, um, last six months or something insane. Apple is now worth two trillion. So you're seeing all these big stocks shooting up and people have got almost a fear of missing out. Now, whether that will continue for three months, six months, a year, who knows? Generally, what will happen is the stocks will return to the mean at some point, but that creates a feeling of missing out. So a lot of people will come to me at the moment and say, what's the best strategy I can trade now to make money? Well, a trader that does the right thing in a scenario like this, and a trader that can put themselves on the right path is the trader that turns around and says, what is the best strategy for me? Now the challenge with that question is asking it straight out without any experience. The answer is, if a trader comes to me as a trading coach, as somebody who's been doing this for years, as somebody who's been trading and is trading all the time, I can't tell you what the best strategy is for you straight away. There's certain things that you need to look at and there's certain things that you can do to get that. And that's why working with somebody who understands this closely can help because most traders, if they're looking at the best strategy for them or the best strategy, what they'll do is they'll pick the one that gives them the best return because it makes logical sense. They don't think about whether or not they can perform and actually trade that strategy. They just look at and say, which one gives the best return and I'm gonna go for that one. Well, the challenge with that, even if you use that as a methodology, the problem with that is most traders won't ask the vital question, which is, what price do I have to pay to be able to deliver that strategy that gives 100% return in 12 months or whatever it is? So the key thing is most traders don't spend any time looking at two factors when they're looking at the success of a strategy. They might see five years worth of results, they might see two years worth of results, but they don't ask themselves two questions. What is the worst losing run? So traders don't bother to look at the losing run, they just see the pound signs at the end of it. So what's the worst losing run? Now this isn't the most number of losers in a row, we'll talk about that in a second. But the worst losing run is when you can scan over the data, and I get all my traders in my trading room to do this, is we've got a 28 point data sheet that all of our trades are filled out on. And they can actually go back and I get them to actually hunt down by just looking at the winners and losers and looking at the worst performing period based on winners and losers. And the reason I get traders to do that is because even though the win-loss ratio is not the key factor to be looking at, it's vitally important traders look at it because most traders are affected psychologically by winners and losers. So I get them to look and see just by looking at the green, the green winners, the red losers, and they, I get them, I force them to find the worst performing period and ask them, would you be prepared if you started at the point where that worst performing period is, would you be prepared to stick it out to make the 100, to make the 150% return over the year, over the two years? Because then the trader is preparing themselves for the worst case scenario. 
Then we'll look back at the data and actually look at percentage drawdown. So how many times did the trade go into a drawdown period and how long did that period last? So it might be over a five year period, the strategy is averaging 100% return per year, but twice every year or on average, you see a drawdown of 10%. So the trader has to be in a position where they could, Im they could imagine starting at that point and seeing that drawdown. Would the trader be willing to pay the price to do that? So part of finding the right strategy for you is understanding and acknowledging that the strategy is not going to work all the time and will you be able to cope with that? One of the things that we saw with Martin, one of our trainers, is his trading went to the next level once he acknowledged and realised that actually two of the strategies he was trading, one had a better performance but the drawdowns were much bigger and it didn't suit his trading style. And the fact that he was honest enough to say, look, I can deal with drawdowns, but not this level of drawdown, meant that he moved away from that strategy and focused in on the less performing one, but he was able to deliver on it. So it's really important you do that. Now, moving on to something more technical is when you're looking at the strategy that's right for you, one of the most important things is to understand how you see the market or which primary market condition you tend to focus on. So we focus here at TSC on three. We actually have strategies in all three of these areas. So we have six key swing strategies and we have two strategies within each area. That's against the trend, with the trend, and the last one we have is a trend line break scenario. So these are three specific market conditions. And then if we're in that market condition, we look for the appropriate trade. So if I'm working with a trader who's traded before, one of the questions I'll ask them is, what type of strategy did you trade before? Was it a momentum based with the trend setup or was it an against the trend counter trend trade setup? And very often a lot of the a lot of traders can't answer that. They simply don't know. All they know is the criteria they took. So I get them to go away and look at it because what I want to know is how comfortable that trader is with that scenario. Because it isn't a case of trading with the trend is better than trading against the trend or vice versa. Very often, it's about what does that trader naturally see? And any trader that's coming into our trading room, not only do they go through a 28 point questionnaire looking at their mindset, they also go through a questionnaire about their goals because that can affect what strategies you choose. But we also go through and get them doing analysis and get them looking at different strategies and seeing which ones they see more easily. They send in examples of what they think the setups are. And very often, a trader thinks that they should be trading with the trend because they've heard people say that that's better. But in fact, when they send through all their examples, they're actually much, much better at seeing against the trend scenarios. So very often then what we do is make sure that that trader focuses on that to start with. Now, it doesn't mean they can't trade more than one scenario, but another key factor in picking the right strategy for you is very simply just focusing on one strategy to start with. If you're completely new or you've been trading for a while and you've not got the results you want, on our Kickstart program, which is our cornerstone program, what happens on that program is Kerry and myself show you different strategies in different market conditions. But once you get into week three, we get you to focus on one. Because one of the problems and one of the reasons traders don't make strategies work for them is they're trying to do too many different strategies and very often in too many market conditions. So making a strategy work for you is start with one. And I think it's really important to do two other things. Whatever strategy you're trading, you have to track its performance. Because a lot of people will say to me, ah, my strategy's not working. And I'm like, okay, so how many trades have you placed? Mm, about 20. Well, that's not enough, whether it's day trading or swing trading. Very often they don't know the number of trades. They don't know the percentage return. They've got different risk profiles on the trades that they've taken. They don't know the drawdowns. And very often what it is, is the strategy hasn't won enough for them. So if they're not tracking the results, they're not able to know whether or not that strategy works. Or if they're trading two strategies, they're not tracking to see which one they can perform. So a really good exercise to do is trade the strategy for a period of time and then go back over your charts to see whether or not you're missing trades, to see whether you're not you're, um, you're um, seeing trades after the event. So a classic example for me is we've got really good performing breakout strategies, 
but I don't trade them because I don't like trading breakout patterns. I don't like trading continuations. I like entering trades off a change of direction. So for me, I can see really good results and I can see some of our students get really great results on breakout trades, but I tend to see breakouts very well after the event and I don't like trading them anyway. So why would I spend 20 years trading something that I'm not good at and I don't like just because that strategy has a good set of results? So it's really important to know your numbers and make sure you understand yourself. So the key thing to finding the right strategy for you is knowing yourself, knowing your goals, knowing whether the strategy has the capacity to give you what you want, but then also knowing what type of trading strategy works best for you. And unfortunately, that can mean an element of experimentation. So it's not necessarily that the first strategy that you trade will be the one you continue. With. I work with, with students who come along, they trade one strategy, and then after six months they shift to another because they really don't like that strategy and can't make it work. But I have other students that will trade one strategy, get good at it, and then move over to another. I have some students that stay completely focused on against the trend setups. Or we have a guy recently, Ricardo, you'll have seen it in our private members group, he started out and he's actually trading lots of strategies in different market conditions because he's already got some experience, he's good at seeing the charts and what that, and he's able to deliver on multiple market conditions on multiple strategies because he's getting the coaching, getting the feedback and doing what is required. But that doesn't necessarily suit every trader. So it's really important, I think the last point I wanna make here is that you have patience with what you're doing. Too many traders will just push past the strategy because in three months or two months or a month, it hasn't given them the results they want. And they'll use excuses like, oh, it's not the right strategy for me, or I don't see those setups correctly. That could be the case, but it probably needs longer and it needs some feedback from somebody who can understand this process to be able to help you. So be patient in this process of finding the right strategy for you. And remember this final saying, I was taught this by my first trading mentor, he said, Yes, you can have a strategy that works. So it's one thing to ask the question, does the strategy work? But when it comes to finding the right strategy for you, the most important question you should be asking is, can you work it? Good, that's all I got for today. Guys, I'll be back with you next week. Trade safe and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.